Hi there. I wanted to show how to set up your Zoom background. Um, I do want to warn that not every computer can do a Zoom background. If it's an older computer, it may not meet the system requirements. Um, I will leave you a website so you can find out more information about that from Zoom. Um, but the best way to find out is to try it, and if it doesn't work, it will tell you if it doesn't work. Um, so what I'm going to do is share my screen. I'm going to click both of these down at the bottom. That'll optimize my settings. Okay. So I want to make sure that my virtual background settings are turned on. So when I go to zoom.us in my web browser, I can go down to settings. And then there are a lot of settings in here. So I'm going to quickly scroll down to where I know virtual backgrounds are. It may take you a little bit longer just because it's such a huge list. So um, feel free to look through all the settings. So my virtual background is set that I can access them because I have virtual backgrounds and I like to use them. If I didn't want to use virtual backgrounds, I could click that off. But because I want to, I'm clicking it on. I've also clicked allow use of videos for virtual background. So instead of having a still or a static image, I could have a video as a background but this can make your computer run slower. And if you're in a Zoom with other people, it can make their computer run slower. So typically not a great idea to have a video for a background, but I thought, who knows, maybe one day, maybe I'll need this, so I just clicked it. Um, then I'm gonna go to my Google search and search for Zoom backgrounds. I found this one and I'll share the link, but I'm just gonna scroll down. There are some options that I can pick. Just looking through. Oh, these are cool. Do, do, do. Stranger Things, Jeopardy, fake, fake Your Kitchen. That's cool. I like this one, so I'm going to click it. And then to save it as an image on my computer for me to access later, I'm going to right click it. And then I'm going to save image as. And this is where you can choose where you want to save your image. Maybe you save it under your pictures, maybe you save it on your desktop, maybe it's in your downloads. I just select desktop because um, it's easier for me to find it there. So I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to minimize this and go to my stop video icon. You, sorry, you can see it on the background of my desktop right here. So and I'm not clicking stop video, but I'm going to click this little arrow next to it. And it gives me the option to choose virtual background. So I will click that. Okay. Uh, and then there, right next to choose virtual background, there's a little plus sign. So I'm going to click the plus sign. And I'm going to click add image. And then it's going to go to my desktop because that's where I usually save things. Maybe it will go to your pictures. Maybe it will go to your documents. Just depends. So you have to remember where you saved your image in order for you to upload it. So that's why I say desktop, it's easy to remember for me. I know it's there. I'm gonna click it. And then, hey, we got a virtual background. So I like to have mirror my video because it looks like how it would if I was looking in the mirror. If I clicked that off, it would be the reverse. Um, so I'm gonna click mirror my video. And then this is if you have a green screen. I don't know anybody who has a green screen right, right now, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, but anyway, that's how you do your background. If you ever want to change your background, you can upload more by clicking the add image or video, or you can see that there are some standard ones like these guys who come uh, standard with Zoom. Um, there are a couple other little ones I've downloaded. I love dogs, so they're in there. Um, you know, Harry Potter. This is Ollivander's wand shop. Um, anyway, you can choose whatever background you want. I hope this video is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.